how many of us are true and sincere in our love to our mothers and fathers? How many of us have that true sincerity for them? What do you know? What does it mean? You live with your mother and father. Ask that person who's lost his mother today. Where is his mother that he can make love with her? Ask that person who has to sacrifice his city and his hometown and his mother's cooking and everything and leave it for the sake of Allah Almighty. Go ask them people what it's like not to be with your mother. You guys take your mothers for granted today. When you've lost your mother, then you will realize what her maqam is. You will realize the companionship that you was a gangster on the street. Everyone disrespected you. Everyone went against you. People put all kinds of blasphemous, blasphemous and, and derogatory terms against your daughters and against you. But who stood by your side and defended you? Who was there to say, no, my putter is not like that. My daughter is not like that. It was your mother that was there. When you, when, when crap hits the fan, as they say, and I use the word crap because I'm in the masjid, when crap hits the fan, who do you turn to? You turn to your friends. They're not there for you. They've left you. When you enter into a prison, who visits you in prison? Your boys don't visit you. They forget you. They don't know who you are. It doesn't exist in our life. We move on. We need to earn money, bro. We need to earn. It's all about making an earner. But who visited you in the prison service? Who visited you when you were in that six by six cell? When you die, who's going to visit you at your grave? Your mother's going to be there every Friday doing dua for you. Who's, and, but with, when you die, your mother will be there. My question to you is when your mother dies, will you be there for her? Or are you going to be too busy lost in this dunya? How many of you sitting here who has lost a mother, ask them. Ask them to bring their mothers back today. It will never happen. You will only ever have one mother in your life. No one will ever, ever be able to replace your mother. No matter how great, how big you become in society, your mother is the greatest thing that has ever been given to a man, is the mother. And I tell you this, because I've had to sacrifice my mother. I've had to give up my mother. And I have to ring her on the way here. And I have to say, Mom, do dua for me. I've got a speech in Sheffield. Yet you got mothers at home, but you disrespect them. You got mothers at home, and they mean nothing to you. Ask Asim. <laughs> Ask Asim where his mother is. She's passed away. If only he could get his mother back in time now. <laughs> Ask Umar who invited me today. Where's his mother? She's not here anymore. She's left. Who's going to make food for you today? Who are you going to go home to today? Did you know when your mother was there, she was the cushion for you. She was that teddy bear. You've lost respect for your mother's brothers and sisters. Listen carefully to me. They mean nothing to us really. Because if they meant something to us, your mother wants you to read Salah, but you don't read Salah. Your mother wants you to be practicing on the deen, but you don't practice your deen. You cause harm to her. You make her upset. And you do not realize that when you anger your father, then you have angered Allah Almighty. That the pleasure of Allah Almighty lies with the pleasure of, 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 his, of the father. And the anger of Allah Almighty lies with the anger of the father. And the word Walid has been used here. If Allah Almighty is angry because your father is angry, imagine how Allah Almighty feels when your mother is angry with you. Just imagine your mother was to give you a bad dua and you was gone in society. You could become the Gose Azam of the time. You could become Abu Huraira of the time. You could become the great Shenshai Baghdad. You could become a, you could become everything in society. You could be the Don, you could be the, the man who, who rolls around in the flashiest cars. But why is it you never drive your mother in that car, but you drive your girlfriend in there? Why is it you do not give your mother that same respect? Why is it you kiss your mother, but you can't kiss your mother's hands? Why is it you kiss your girlfriend and you can't kiss your mother? Because what is it too low for you? Why is it you can't go and kiss your mother's feet? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's Habib alayhi salatu salam said, Today, everyone wants to be a gangster in a gangster's paradise. Yet Allah Almighty has made it so easy for you that even if you cannot perform Hajj and Umrah, even if you cannot go visit our Master Nabi alayhi salatu salam, Allah Almighty said, Jannah is in your house. Go to your mother's feet, you'll find it there. 
go to your mother's feet and you'll find it there. Ask the great Abu Ishaq rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. Abu Ishaq was that great wali of Allah Almighty that he was with his sheikh and he, and he was studying with them. They went home at night and they seen their mother. And their mother was very ill. And they said, Abu Ishaq, look after me. And Sayyidina Abu Ishaq went and began to massage the, the mother's feet. And the beard was rubbing on the mother's feet. The sheikh, his teacher had a dream at night. And his teacher said, Abu Ishaq, I seen you and your beard was glowing. Tell me, what did you do last night? And he said, oh, my teacher, my beard was rubbing on the kadmain of my mother. Because my beard was touching, my hair was touching my mother's feet. Today you, today you have seen a dream because my beard has moved. This is why my beard has moved. This is the reason why my beard has moved. Yet today, how many of you will go home and kiss your mother's feet? How many of you will go home and respect your mother like this? No, it's too low for you. You're too big for that now, aren't you? You think you're bad in society, don't you? That's why you can't do it. But when it comes to your girlfriend, you'll do it. Ask those who do not have the chance to do it. Ask that person who does not have the chance. To, when you've lost your mother, then you will realize her maqam. I'm telling you now. You will only realize the maqam of your father when you've lost him. When there's no one in life to turn to except your mother or father, who are you going to? The boys ain't going to live with you forever. The, 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 the girls and the, the girlfriends that you have, they're not going to stay forever. They will move on. They will forget you, but your mother and father, they will not forget you. They will remember you even in the grave, they will remember you. Let me narrate to you a story of a young boy when he fell in love with a girl and the girl that he fell in love with said, if you love me, if you love me, then do me one favor. Go and chop your mother, kill your mother and bring her liver to me. And that is an example of your love for me. He was so lost in love with this girl that he was ready to go against, go and kill his mother. When he arrived there, he killed his mother. He took her liver out. When he took the liver out on the way back to the, his girlfriend, his wife, he fell down. And you know what happened? The liver began to speak. And they said, Putter, are you okay? You've hurt yourself. Putter, are you okay? You've hurt yourself. The liver spoke. No matter how big in society you can be, you will never be greater than your mother and father. That's how much your mother and father love you, that even her liver will speak. Even her liver will speak. I rather that my mother passes away than me passing away because it will hurt her more that if I leave the dunya she will cry forever. But if my mother leaves me, I will I will cry but I will move on. How hard is it for a mother when she loses her son and a child? How do you think the kids in Palestine feel when they've seen their mothers blown up into pieces and raped in front of them? Brothers and sisters, you have it easy in the 21st century in England. It's not hard for you at all, but why? Why is it our society, has, we have we've degraded ourselves in society? Why is it our people are going out there and grooming girls? Why is it our people are going out there and giving business to prostitutes? Why is it our brothers and sisters are lost in, in boyfriend and girlfriend relationships? Why is it our brothers and sisters are lost in fraud? Why? Why have we lost this? Because you do not respect your mother and father. You've lost respect for your mother and father. How are you going to respect anybody else? If you can't respect your mother and father, then you can't respect anyone. Remember that.